had a very, very dear colleague named Gary Weaver, who worked for over 35 years with court-referred boys. And Gary Weaver would be sent a boy who the justice system just couldn't deal with anymore. They'd say, I've seen this boy three times in my court, a judge would say. Treatment as usual is not working, a so-called refractory case, send him to Weaver. And Weaver would take these boys out into the Utah desert and do a practice that I'd like to share with you. Gary Weaver, um, I'm sad to say he, he passed about a year and a half ago, although there's a team that continues his work. And I was at his funeral. And at this funeral, out in the, in the desert in Utah, his community church was packed. It was so packed they had to open up the walls, they had to seat people in the gym, and they had to seat them beyond the gym. And it was deeply moving to see hundreds of men, now in their 30s and 40s, who had once been court reformed boys, now fathers, teachers, people of service, hundreds. And his pallbearers were among the 32 of those boys who he had adopted into his own home. So this is brought to you via messenger from a very spiritual healer, Gary Weaver, and I'd like to invite you into this practice because the boys with whom he worked had horrible so-called ambassadors. They weren't ambassadors at all, right? And they didn't want to hear about the so-called name of religion as it had been wrongly brought by messengers. And with the bathwater had gone the baby, the spiritual life, and he brought it back to them. So I'll share with you a practice through which he did that in the Utah desert. And ask them if they love you. And now you may invite your higher self, your eternal self, a part of you much greater than what you've done or not done, where you've been or not been, your eternal higher self, and ask you if you love you. Now you may invite your higher power, whatever word that may be, your higher power, and ask your higher power if you love you. With all of those people assembled there right now, ask them what, they, what you need to know. What do they need to let you know? What do you need to know right now in your path? And when you're ready, I invite you back. They are always there for you. This might be called your counsel. And they are always there for you. My own view is that this opens up the relationship, the sacred relationship, the transcendent relationship, with the higher power, with the higher self, and in the sacredness of our bonds with one another. 
And I guarantee you, you have showed up at someone's table. Yeah. That's beautiful. Can we give Lisa a round of applause? I'm so honored. Bless you, and may we continue our work together. <laughs>